Hey guys, it's Blade again from Carly Security and we're back again with the good old EP3. Last episode, me and Palm got it up on the ramp and we had a good old nosy round just to make sure the car's of good health. Now, last episode we did spot there's a few rust areas which we are going to address in a future video. But today is a bit more of an exciting one. Raj has finally got us our list. Uh, you sent me a three-page dossier of wants. I haven't added this up, but it's, it's quite a tidy sum. Tidy sum. So, I've got a challenge for you. I want to see you try and get this video to 350 likes if you can. It's nice and easy, just smash that like button if you're enjoying this content. Without further ado, let's go and see what we've got. So, we got Rotor Torque in white with some Nankang tyres. And here they are. And they look wicked. Really big in the Japanese scene. I really like twin five spoke design that it's got and the white just because white wheels look wicked on anything especially a black car right so we paired these wheels with a nice set of tyne coilovers so let's go and have a look at those coilovers are here let's grab one quickly right so these are our tyne coilovers so these are uh, dampening adjustable obviously height adjustable coilovers this should stiffen up our ride and make it look boss. What we're going to do in this episode is go over the sound side of things. So let's get this car sounding the way it should do. I want to hear that VTEC roar. So let's get the intake and the exhaust opened up and show you what comes in the box. So first of all, we've got this. This is part of the exhaust that we're going to be fitting. So this is Tegawa's 70 mil catback exhaust system. Um, and as you can see, that tip is bloody massive. I can almost fit my fist in it. So it's a huge exhaust system, but they're nice big boxes in there. It's got a center resonator as well. So hopefully it shouldn't be too loud. Uh, and as we've seen, the car's already got a sports cap fitted. So we'll be interested to see uh, what kind of noise difference this makes. So the next part is in front of me. Now you may be wondering, what is this weird shaped thing covered in bubble wrap? Uh, now, if you know these cars and you know uh, how well they react to an intake, you'll enjoy this. This is Tegua's carbon airbox intake kit. Uh, but the main part is this carbon scoop. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, so this basically sits in the engine bay, be like that for you. And then basically there's a little scoop that sits in the scuttle panel and takes the air in here and you get all the good wop wop sounds from the VTEC. So, so that's the actual filter side of it. So that sits in there like that. Right, so cars in the workshop. I'm gonna crack on with doing the intake first of all, and then we're gonna get it up on the ramp and do the exhaust. Hopefully, shouldn't take too long. So let's crack on. So the basic setup of an intake system or cold air intake or an induction kit, however you wanna call it, is obviously this is your air box. Uh, this holds the air filter. Obviously the air comes in through here. It goes, passes through the filter to clean the air, and then it goes into the intake manifold and then it goes to your throttle body and then that goes in and you get your power. So obviously if you can take in more air, you will get more power. But the sound that goes with it is also a benefit as well. So we've got the top off. Obviously it's nice and clean in here because it's passed through the filter. The filter that's in here doesn't look too bad to be honest. Not too bad. It's going to be a lot better after this. Okay, so this is the part here where we have to do a little bit of modification. I'm gonna be trimming the scuttle panel, as you can see. This allows the air dam to force air down into the intake. Okay, so it's all done, all fitted. You might be able to see the little scoop at the top there. We open this up, there it is. The Tegua carbon air box. So as you can see, it's got the scoop up the top, which obviously dams air into the intake, which has got the filter in. 
and then goes into the engine and then we've just got the breather pipe going over there. Should we have a listen? I think it sounds quite cool. Let's give it a couple of revs. It's quite a bit louder, isn't it? I reckon we should take it for a drive. See if we can hear that VTEC. Let's go. Oh my God, it's bumpy. <laughs> Feel like a proper yobbo now. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, so we've just come back from the test drive, listening to that uh, intake. Sounds pretty good. What do you reckon? Hoping now doing the exhaust can sound a lot better. So car's already got a aftermarket sports cap fitted, so that should make my life a little bit easier up the front. I'm gonna crack on. You've done it in the wrong order. What are you talking about? Where's your fucking bushes all over? I'm gonna pick it all up. Big old cannon. Look at that. So. This is the Tegua 70mm catback system. I have to say, really nice looking exhaust. I mean, the welds on it are really nice. Obviously stainless steel, so it's not gonna go all rusty like that horrible one over there. And obviously the pipe diameter is 70mm. Um, that is probably, I don't know, one and a half inch, two inch maybe. So that's tiny. So this is gonna help airflow a lot better. Obviously there's still boxes here, so it's not gonna be too loud. New gaskets and bolts as well, which is always good to see. It's gonna make my life a lot easier, so let's get it fitted. So, all fitted. Um, re really didn't take too long at all. It was a nice and easy fit. Have a look. Nice big exhaust tip, almost the size of my fist. Fisty. Bloody massive. It sounds pretty decent too. I'll give it a rev quickly. So yeah, sounds pretty good. So we're gonna take it for a spin now and see what the combination of the intake and the exhaust has done to the drivability, maybe power. Don't know, and obviously put a smile on my face, a bit annoying, so. Just gonna get it off the ramp and we'll take it out. Car is warmed up, by the way. <laughs> I think you can still hear more of the intake than you can of the exhaust. Drop it down a bit. It feels really good. It still pulls really nicely, but cruising along, it's not too loud, it's not boomy or droney at all. But you just get that nice, a nice little note in the background, letting you know it's there. Let's uh, feel that again. Five. Episode will be focusing on the handling side of things. So we're going to be fitting those tyne coilovers and the rotor wheels. So I'm going to try my best to get it to sit as low as possible, uh, but without any rubbing and stuff. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to enjoy some more VTEC.